Welcome to the Eucharistic Liturgy on the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please turn off or silence your cell phones at this time. Please stand as we begin the celebration. Please join us in your green hymnals, number 242. Come to the river, number 242, we'll do verses 1 and 3.
begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today I'm using a brand new microphone, and so, yeah, you can tell, right? You can tell. Okay, good. You can hear me now. God. All right. Let us take a moment to recognize that we have seen and let us ask God for pardon and peace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous faults. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We pray to you, we bless you, we adore you, we basement of your son have raised up a fallen world filled with your faithful with holy joy for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin you bestow eternal gladness through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit God forever and ever
a reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. A just savior is he, meek and riding on an ass, on a colt, the foal of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished, and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit, if only the spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the spirit of Christ,
from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the little ones. Please allow me to explain a world that is far, far from what we are living now, right? Teenagers, believe it or not, a few years ago, there was no internet. We had a world without the internet, right? And we actually have a world without machines. So the image that Jesus has given us today is an image that is kind of far away from us already because the majority of us grew up with tractors and machines in general, right? But years ago, if you wanted to plant something, you had a field and you wanted to plant something, you had to prepare the ground, you have to prepare the soil. And the way you will do that is with a, with a plow. A plow was a metal thing with a pointing thing that will open the ground. And you have to do that in dry season, because if it was already raining, it would be pretty bad. It has to be dry so that you can move the ground. And the idea was to kind of like put oxygen into the ground and, and the nutrients and everything on the ground so that it will be ready for the seed to fall, right? Now, the way people will do it, because it was a hard, very hard work, was with animals. So they will have uh, bulls or horses or donkeys, and the way they will do it is they will put uh, two animals to pull the plow to open the ground, right? And so just to give you an example, because I was looking the whole week for a joke and not even in the museums I was able to find. <laughs> but it was something like this, right? It was, it was a wooden piece and then the, think for a moment that I'm a bull, I'm an animal, I have the body already, right? Um, so it was a wooden thing that you will put either in the horns of the animal or around the neck of the animal. Now, this will have a rope that is attached to the plow, and the idea of the joke was for the animal to push, push, right? And so the plow will open the ground. Can you imagine it? All right, you are imagining that? Think about it, right? It's the image that Jesus has given us today. He says, come to me, all you who are burdened and tired, take my joke. The joke was not something to carry. The joke was something to help the animals to push, to continue go going, to move forward, to open the ground, right? As I was meditating on the gospel, I thought, well, some of us are carrying burdens without having something to help us, right? To open the ground, a joke to carry so that we can move forward. Now, as I was meditating, I thought, we are carrying different burdens. One is a burden that you choose to carry. Think about it, the day you got married. <laughs> you choose to carry that burden because marriage is not an easy thing. You decided to carry it. The day you decided to have a child. How many stories I have heard of parents being awake the whole night because the son or the daughter will not come back home early. Right? They are carrying the burden of having children, and it's normal, but that you decided to carry it. Nobody wakes up at 5, 6 in the morning to go to work, 
just because right? you decided to carry that burden is something that you decided to carry and so human part of being of half a life we came to this world and we are going back to heaven right or those who at the very beginning that they choose and that have problems with drugs or alcoholism and at the beginning they thought they were choosing now they don't have options they are carrying that burden right burdens that you choose to care carry in are you carrying a burden because you choose to carry it are you carrying a burden because you don't have any other options are you carrying a burden that doesn't have any meaning and you're still carrying it now in all those three types that I'm offering you today as a reflection Christ is inviting us to take the joke his joke the other part that I forgot to tell you is the joke was not only for a single family for a single animal it was for two you will connect one animal to one end and the other animal to the other end Jesus today is saying, I'm going to carry that with you. Take my joke. I will push with you. I will open the ground together with you. Just take my birthing. You are not alone. Now think about it. It's God himself telling you, I'm willing to be in the place you are to carry together. I'm willing to left my throne in heaven to accompany you in that burden that you are carrying even if you have choose to carry it without any meaning <laughs> i'm there to help you to continue walking with you to give you the strength with my help and your forces we're gonna go over hopefully as you meditate this week you take that courage to say, Jesus, you know the burden I'm carrying, and you know that I need you, that I can't do this by myself, that I need you. And Jesus is there ready to be attached like an animal and to carry that with you. May the Holy Spirit give you the grace to accept that, to notice the help that Jesus is bringing you. Now, the last thing is, I'm not using the chasuble. Now you know some of the meaning of the stall. Right? It's in my shoulders. I'm carrying what Christ carries the church. I took his joke, right? And I'm pushing forward, moving the church as a symbol of a joke. That's why we use it in the bottom. And I thought, well, I, th I think people have to see it because we always wear the chasuble on top and sometimes we don't know the meaning. May the Holy Spirit give you the grace to continue moving forward. And please stand. Let us renew our faith, the faith of the whole church. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered that and was buried. On the third day, 
in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With humble trust in our loving Father, we bring to him our needs and petitions. For the Church, that God will help us take up the yoke of Christ and follow him in speaking the truth lovingly, offering forgiveness to those who wrong us and praying for our enemies. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For peace in all the areas of conflict, that God will end the violence in Israel and the Palestinian territory, in the Ukraine and in all other areas, so that everyone may live safely and with justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For a fuller life in the Spirit, that God will free us from self-absorption and selfishness, so that we may allow the Spirit to lead us into a more authentic and virtuous life, we praise to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who are weary in body, mind, or spirit, that the Spirit will restore strength to the physically exhausted, hope to those who are emotionally worn out, and energy to all who are exhausted through loving service to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who are traveling, especially those gathering for World Youth Day, that God will guide them safely to their destinations and protect them from all harm, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our personal petitions, for those who have asked for our prayers, and for those whose names are written in our prayers request book, and for those who have recently died. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the special intentions of this Mass, for the eternal repose of Felix and Anna Orulik and Conrad Martinez, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Eternal Father, as we bring our burdens and needs to you, Kindly look with favor upon the needs of your children, brought to you in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. Amen. Please join us in the green hymnals, number 731, number 731, Journey Song. Yeah. 
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and the glory of His name. For our good and the good of all His May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we, ne we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, with hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Gustavo our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join us in our communion hymn in your green hymnals, song number 780, number 780. 
bread for the world.
I do believe that the Word of God has power by itself. The Word of God has power by itself. Let's take a second and think on the burden you are carrying now. Is it something, it's a kind of burden that you decided to take? Is it a kind of burden that you don't have any other options? Is it a kind of burden that you know is just not necessary to go through, but you cannot just put it away and you carry it? And let's make it a prayer. Come to me. Jesus knows already the burdens you are carrying, 
But sometimes he wants to listen, to carry the burden together with us. So let's take a couple of seconds and, and tell Jesus. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. A just savior is he, meek and riding on a donkey. Rejoice, shout for joy. Your king shall come to you to carry the burden together with you. He's meek. He's riding a donkey. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the price of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have a couple of announcements. Today's second collection is uh, for the maintenance fund. This weekend, the Young Adult Ministry is hosting a bake sale after all masses. Uh, they will be there at the foyer. Uh, uh, draw by and enjoy delicious uh, uh, food for this worthy cause. Tonight, the Young Adult Ministry will host adoration at 8 o'clock. Uh, uh, just tonight. All are welcome. On Saturday, July 15, the Women of the Well will be hosting the next reflection session on the book Mindful Catholic in the St. Joseph room from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Newcomers are welcome. The St. Luke's Religious Education Office is hosting a vacation Bible school from July 24 to the 28th here on campus. In addition to attendees, they are also looking for volunteers. Uh, contact the Religious Education Office for more details. Uh, Frank and Natalie Kuhn, please come forward. They will be, they will be praying for vocations. And we'll take with them traveling chalice. And please join me in the prayer for vocations. God, in baptism you call us by name and made us members of your people, the church. Guide us to know our vocation in life and to learn by living your spirit of holiness for your greater glory and for the service of your people. Raise up dedicated and generous members who will serve their lives as women and male religious priests deacons married or single send your spirit to guide and strengthen us so we may serve your people following the example of your son jesus christ in whose name we offer this prayer amen please let's give the family the kum family a round of applause thank you very much for paying for vocation do we have visitors today Visitors, where are you coming from? From McAllen, Texas? Welcome. Welcome to St. Luke. Do we, we have any other visitor? Let's go to, back to uh, birthdays and uh, anniversaries. We have one birthday here, another one, another one, another one. We have four, five, five birthdays. Anniversaries. We don't have anniversaries? No, not today. 
Okay, please join me in the prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the gift of life of these uh, children of yours who are celebrating birthday. Bless them, protect them, make their burden light. Send your Holy Spirit to lead them the way that will take them to your eternal glory. Through Christ our Lord, amen. 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 Congratulations. Now please stand. On July 20th, I'm taking 11 of our youth to Europe for World Youth Day. Uh, we're going to go uh, to France, Spain, and Portugal. I'm going to be almost a month out of the parish because um, I'm going with them. It's a burden. <laughs> <laughs> but you decided to choose it. But I choose it. So. <laughs> Please pray for them, for those who are going to be traveling, and, and for all the youth around the world that will gather together with Pope Francis. The Lord be with you. And with the Spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in peace to announce the gospel of the Lord. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you, Father. Please join us in your green hymnals, song number 752, 752, mine eye is lifting the glory, verses 1 and 4. <laughs> 